Every day, tens of millions of garments are tossed out to make way for the new. For consumers, they are out of sight, out of mind. But the reality is much messier. Some of the discarded clothes enter a global secondhand supply chain that works to prolong their lives. But the rise of fast fashion is making the process increasingly difficult. Ghana was the world's biggest importer of used clothing in 2020. And here at Kantamantu Markets in Accra, the capital of Ghana, millions of garments arrive every week in massive bills. The market wholesalers and resellers do their best to try and sell as much as they can. But there's just too much clothing is unsellable. Some 40% of what enters Kantamanto is believed to live here as waste, creating a burden on the city. With the rise of fast fashion, garments fall apart after a few washes. Cheap synthetic blended fabrics are difficult to repurpose, and people are buying and throwing away too quickly. Since 2000, the average number of times a garment is worn before it's discarded has plummeted by 36%. Globally, only less than 1% of old clothes are recycled into new ones. This is one of the largest used cloth recycling factory run by Kanam International in Gujarat, India. Here workers sort through piles of different garments and grading them into different categories. It's a complex process that extracts maximum out of used clothes and prolongs its life. But ultimately, very little of it is recycled. Canem International takes up to 120 million pounds a year of used textiles from North America, Europe, Japan, and Australia. Much of it gets chopped up and turned into things like car insulation, mattress filling, and cleaning cloths. But at some point, these products still end up in a landfill or incinerator. According to the UN, the fashion industry contributes between 2% and 8% of global carbon emissions. Companies are considering alternative models that include capping growth, focusing on fewer, higher quality items, and narrowing inventory to climate-friendly options, though it's unclear how these approaches scale over time.